we are going to learn one of the topic from physical chemistry is electrochemistry. Okay. Now, weightage for this topic, 5 marks without option and 7 marks with option. Okay. Now, in that 7 marks, the question may be asked for 1 mark question that is MCQ or very short answer type question. 2 marks question that the theory or numerical then 3 marks question, maybe theory or numerical and in section D, question may be asked for 4 marks. In that, 2 sub questions may be clubbed together, 2 plus 2, 1 is theory, 1 is numerical like this. Any variety of question may be asked on this topic. Okay. Now, consider the contents of this topic. First part is introduction. We should know here redox reaction concept of oxidation reduction etc then second electric conduction then third electrical conductance of solution then next one is electrochemical cells in that two types of electrochemical cells are there electrolytic cell and galvanic cell that is also called as holotype cells next electrode potential and the cell potential thermodynamics and galvanic cell. Okay, next part is reference electrode used to determine the potential of the cell and the potential of the other electrodes. Then galvanic cells useful in day-to-day -day life. Different types of galvanic cells used in a day-to-day -day life. Then fuel cells and the last point is electrochemical series. Now, let us see one by one point serially here. Remember one thing. Slow, systematic and well-planned study leads to success. Hmm? The, let us see that first part is introduction part. Okay. Let us see first part introduction. Okay. See here. Electrochemistry deals with the conversion of electrical energy into chemical energy and chemical energy into electrical energy. Okay, you know the spontaneous reaction. Spontaneous reaction that is takes place on their own accord. Now, these spontaneous reactions are carried out and that chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. Okay, and you know the non-spontaneous reaction. Non-spontaneous reaction means not possible naturally, then that reactions can be carried out by using electrical energy, by supplying electrical energy, that is use electrical energy to carry out that chemical reaction, that is here electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. Okay, that is interconversion of electrical and chemical energy that is considered in electrochemistry. Okay, now let us see some importance or the applications of the electrochemistry. Okay, few examples. See here, you know the manufacture of NaOH. NaOH that is sodium hydroxide, caustic soda. It is very useful in the soap industry, then detergent industry, paper industry, etc. Now how it is manufactured? It is manufactured by electrolysis of aqueous NaCl. Okay, that is electrochemistry. Then here the preparation of fluorine is the only one way to prepare the fluorine by electrolysis here. Electrolysis gives the fluorine. Then one more here electro refining. Electro refining. Now refining means a purification. You know the extraction of metal from its ore. In that refining of metal may be carried out by using electrolysis that is electro refining. Okay. Then electroplating. Electroplating. Here electroplating means coating of one metal on the surface of another metal. You know the plating of gold, silver, zinc that is galvanization etc. Okay. These are the roles and the one more important 
is the source of electrical energy. Source of electrical energy. You know the dry cells, fuel cells. Actually, fuel cells are the convenient and the compact source of electricity. Okay? And sorry, electrical energy. Okay. Now, let us see the basic points required to study the electrochemistry. That the main part is redox reaction. You should know the oxidation and reduction oxidation and reduction you studied this part in 11th standard but just i want to reverse this part and i will give you some tricks which are very useful in further session okay now oxidation that is addition of oxygen okay or oxygen is the electronegative element the addition of other electronegative element like a sulfur or chlorine. Okay. And reduction opposite the removal of oxygen or electronegative element like sulfur or chlorine. Next one is removal of hydrogen or removal of any, it is the electropositive part, removal of any other electropositive part. Oh, sorry, electropositive element. Here, the addition of hydrogen, that is the reduction or addition of electropositive element. Okay, sorry. Next, now we require the most important concept in terms of electron. In terms of electron, it is a removal of electron, that is a oxidation. And here, addition of electron that is oxidation sorry that is the addition of electron that is the reduction okay next now removal of electron consider one example na remove the electron then na plus this one or can write like this fe2 plus converted into fe3 plus the removal of one electron. Here, addition of electron that is reduction. Consider example Cl plus electron gives Cl minus or Fe plus 3 plus electron gives Fe2 plus. See here, observe this reaction. What happens here? The positive charge is increased. 0 to plus 1, plus 2 to plus 3. That is, one more definition here. Increase in positive charge. That is also oxidation. It is very important. We require this concept in electrochemistry. Okay. And here what happens? Decrease in a positive charge. That is decrease in positive charge. Or you may write like this. Increase in negative charge here. Yes. But to avoid the confusion, remember anyone. The increase in a positive charge and here decrease in a positive charge. Okay, now I will give you three tricks here. Remember, listen carefully. Now, first thing is when you write the reaction that is oxidation or reduction, then charge should be balanced from both sides. See here on this side 0, then on this side also 0, plus 1, minus 1, 0. See here, plus 2, plus 3, minus 1, that is plus 2. Always remember this. One thing. Then, second point. Remember trick, if electrons on the right hand side of the reaction, that is right hand side, on this side, okay, this is the reaction here, then it is oxidation. You can immediately find out which one is oxidation and reduction. And if electrons on the left hand side, then it is a reduction. Okay, that is the second point. Then third, one more thing, see here. Now I have written this as a reduction. Suppose if I return this on this side and that on this side, that is Cl minus, it lose electron and convert it into this one. Now here oxidation on the right hand side, it is a oxidation. And see here, the negative charge is decreased. Minus 1 to 0. 
and here the negative charge is increased that is the reduction there okay that is remember these points for oxidation and reduction now consider the reducing agent reducing agent means reductant okay now reducing agent see here reducing agent means a species that reduces others okay that is a species reduces others now reduces others means what if you supply the electron to the others then other reduces that is it is an electron donor electron donor that is it supplies the electron to the others therefore others reduce and itself it gets oxidized because it donates its electron therefore it self oxidizes okay and one more thing see here what happens if it donates the electron that is negative charge is removed donates the electron then its positive charge is increased that is itself it is oxidized means the increase in positive charge remember this oxidation this is the process here positive charge is increased that is it is a process and here it is a species reducing agent is a species of which the positive charge is increased okay now consider the oxidizing agent oxidizing agent or oxidant now oxidizing agent means what happens oxidizing agent it oxidizes others that is a species it oxidizes others now if it oxidizes others means it gains the electron it is an electron acceptor it is a electron acceptor yes chlorine accepts electron okay electron acceptor now if it accepts the electron means the electron accepts that is itself it is reduce sorry it is itself it is a reduced yes correct itself it is a reduce and if it accepts the electron therefore negative charge is increased that is decrease in positive charge or you may say that increase in negative charge okay am i right increase in negative charge okay so about the oxidizing agent now well, let us consider one example for better understanding let us consider one example for better understanding here sncl2 that is stannous chloride reacts with ferric chloride aqueous gives stannous chloride and ferrous chloride now for balancing here we require to here two okay Now see here the oxidation number of S N here it is plus two, plus three, plus four, and here it is a plus two. What happens? This see this ten plus two is converted into plus four. That is increase in positive charge. That is its oxidation takes place. Okay, and it is a reducing agent. its oxidation takes place and it is a reducing agent now see this one fe plus 3 to plus 2 that is decrease in positive charge here what happens its reduction takes place ferric chloride is reduced to ferrous chloride and it is a oxidizing agent okay now in this session you studied the introduction part now
let us see the next part that is second point electric conduction in the next session okay